Okay, tubers, so we're at the end of a four hour test. It's actually a little bit longer than four hours. We had a, we, I say we, I mean I, had a small problem with setting the cutoff voltage on watch power to 24 volts, so it cut off and I had to reset it and work out what I did wrong. So now we're at 22.9 volts. We were at 3.6 kilowatt hours. So that makes it 3.9 kilowatt hours since I reset everything. So we have drawn 168 amp hours from the batteries, which I'm really happy at. And there we go, that's 22 volts. So that concludes the test. So the test says we drew almost, we drew the same amount of energy from the batteries with the bus bars being changed around. So was the test a success? Well, yeah, it was a t success. We've got less heat at the top of the packs. They are still hot. They are not boiling hot. They're nice and warm, but they're not hot. And there's less heat at the top than there is at the bottom. There is still no heat at the bottom of the pack. So, what did we learn? Um, it's possibly a better thing having it at the bottom. I can't conclusively say it's going to matter at my amp draw, especially not since I put that on there and put that on there. But still a great test. As you can see, I've still got it running. Uh, it's dropping majorly fast. We might actually do a little quick test. If I turn off the heater, uh, can you see that? I see it, I see it. Turn off the heater and watch the voltage drop back up. There we go. The voltage bounces back quite quite significantly once we take a fairly big chunk of the battery off, battery drain. So, YouTube, thanks for watching. I will let this one upload, this four hour upload. I've still got the live chat happening and the camera's hitting there. So, for everybody that tuned into this one, and that says uh, cell voltage, Pete. So people want me to still do some more tests. Everybody that tuned in, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next one.